Well, I've been getting a lot of comments asking me, how do you draw a straight line freehand the way you do in your videos? And it's really not uh, freehand. I'm using my fingernail as a guide, and this is something that I learned when I first started woodworking. I've been using it ever since, and it's really useful. So I'm going to bring the camera over and show you exactly how it's done. You want to have a nice sharp point on your pencil, and you use your fingernail as a guide and run it along the edge of the board. And the nice thing about this is, over time, your eye becomes trained, and you'll find that you can visualize what an inch looks like, or three-eighths of an inch, and often you won't even use your tape measure. So let's say I was, this was a face frame, and I was going to pre-drill holes for uh, screwing the face frame to the cabinet. I'd want to pre-drill those holes at three-eighths of an inch, so I'm thinking that looks pretty close to three-eighths of an inch. And it's right there, so that's what happens. You do it long, uh, you do it enough, and your eye becomes trained, and you'll find yourself using this as a tool all the time. I also wanted to answer the main question I've been getting about the blanket chest, and that is, if you didn't want to paint it, uh, how would you build it? And the easy answer is build it out of pine. You can get pine and all of your pine moldings at almost any home store, I would think any home store, in any lumber yard. Now, uh, somebody had mentioned wanting to build it out of cherry, uh, walnut, uh, or maple even, and uh, that becomes a little bit more difficult because your moldings are, you're gonna have to have your moldings made at a mill, or there are some really good lumber yards that carry stock moldings in different species. Uh, the other case would be to make the molding yourself. Now, a lot of these moldings you could make with a router. The, the, uh, the base cap molding that I use, that would be difficult to make with a router, but I think you can do, you can do that. I also, I've got a machine called a Williams and Hussey molding planer, and I'll just, just kind of show you a little diagram how that works, and that would be the other route. But that does make the project a little bit more difficult and more expensive. This is the molding planer that I had mentioned, and it works a lot like a thickness planer, but instead of a straight knife, you have different blades that create different moldings. So for instance, this is the cutting knife for a base cap molding, and I'll trace the knife, and it's basically the negative. If I pull that away, and then just draw in, you can see this is the molding that you would get if you ran it through the machine. So if you're wondering, well, why didn't I just make the molding for this project? Um, you know, the answer is it's just a lot easier to buy the molding at the home store or lumber yard. Now, if you wanted to build this and stain it and have it some kind of a natural wood color, uh, your easiest and most inexpensive solution is going to be to build it out of pine. Uh, you could build it out of walnut or maple or cherry, but that's definitely going to increase the price of the build. I'm going to get back to painting the blanket chest. I'll see you on Friday. Mm -hmm.